Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial and in this video I will be showing you now you can recreate this simple packaging for a juice box and as you can make out it's for an orange juice so I have uh, it's only the template that I have uh, copied from a reference image whereas the other uh, whereas the other information such as the name and the graphics a little I have just played around with by myself and recreated on my own. So I'll show you how you can do the same thing and make a similar juice box packaging for different flavors as well. Doesn't necessarily have to be orange flavor at doesn't necessarily have to be orange flavor. So what I'm gonna do is that I'll be going ahead and opening up a new document. So for this video, I will be using this A4 size document which is 210 millimeters in width and 297 millimeters in height. And I will be renaming my document to be Orange Juice Packaging Template. And my orientation is going to be in portrait format. And I'm going to go ahead and click on create. So once we get our document like this, you can see that by default in this layers panel, this layers one comes up. I'm going to go ahead and also rename my layer one to be template. That. I'm going to zoom out now by clicking on control and the minus key on my keyboard. And I will be making the body of my template first before I make all these flaps. Right? So. I will be going back to my rectangle tool and I let the fill and the stroke be the way it is. I will be playing around with these a lot later. So I'm going to make three copies of my A4 size document. So which is going to be the front side, the back side as well as the side as well as the sides of my carton. Right? So I will click on my document once and over here in this pop-up box it's asking for the dimensions of your next rectangle or square. So my original document's dimensions were 210, 210 millimeters in width and the height was 297 millimeters and I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. So we get this A4 size document right here. So I'm just going to drag this over here onto the side and I'm going to make just making sure that it aligns well with my document like that. Yeah. So I'm going to make two more copies on the left hand side as well. So I'll select my document, this rectangle, click on Alt to make a copy and drag my rectangle right here. And I'm going to make another copy by clicking on Alt like that. So I'm going to just select this and make another copy onto our original document as well because I'm going to go ahead and also add the colors to the main body now. So I'm going to go ahead select all these rectangles that we had made and I'll be choosing the gradient tool. So I'll select this. And as you can see that over here in this gradient slider, this is by default that the colors are white to black and it's going from left to right. But I'm going to go, I want to change the colors here. I want to make it orange to green and I'm going to also change the angle as well. So I'll double click on this white one. I'm going to select this orange color. I'm going to double click on the black one I'm going to choose this green color like that or probably like a darker shade of green and just play around with the gradient slider and see which one you think that suits your packaging the best and once you're happy with the gradient let's go ahead and also change the angle now so over here in this angle drop down I will be choosing this 90% sorry 90 degrees 
and as you can see that the gradient now gets changed and the orange is at the bottom and the green is at the top so i'm happy with this i'm gonna let it stay the way it is right now okay and now i have to make the flaps right so but before that i will be making this one side flap as well so this side flap you see over here this will be used to apply the glue and when it's printed and when the packaging happens then it's going to be stuck on together right so it's important i'll make this rectangle first as well so i'll go back to my rectangle tool again and i'm just going to make one thin one thin rectangle like that and my gradient is the same so i'm not going to change the fill but i am going to change the rectangle a little bit so over here in this reference you can see that this rectangle has a slant at the bottom right here so i'm going to add that slant as well so i'll select my rectangle come over here to the direct selection tool and i'm going to select this anchor point this right hand bottom right hand side anchor point i'll zoom in on this so that you can see so if you look carefully that this anchor point that i have chosen it gets highlighted into blue whereas the other three anchor points are white like this right so now that it's chosen it's selected i'm going to click on alt and the up arrow key on my keyboard to add the slant like this so keep pressing the upper arrow key on your keyboard to get the necessary slant you want and like that so you see it's that simple to add the slant like that onto your packaging okay now i'm going to add the flaps so i'm going to go ahead and choose my rectangle tool and this time i'm going to change the fill to green and i'm going to go ahead add make one rectangle like this probably change the fill yeah now it's like the right shade of green i just now i'm going to select this rectangle click on alt to make a copy and make a second copy right over here now i'm going to show you another trick on how you can repeat the same process but process without having to click on the alt button or having to use the convenient way which is control c and control v so there's another shortcut key shortcut way to make different copies which is control plus d so you see that this rectangle is selected right so i'll just click on control plus d once and you can see that a copy is automatically made onto the side and similarly i'll do it again like that so you see it's that easy but for this one right here i'm going to make a smaller rectangle manually like that there it's done and i want to do the similar thing at the bottom as well right so i'm going to select my rectangle tool again and this time change the fill to the orange color and over here i'm going to go ahead and make one square like that and i'm going to repeat the same process that i had done at the top as well so i'll click on alt first to make a copy like that and i'm going to click on control d twice like that to make more copies okay so we've got this Now I just have to make these upper flaps as well. But first, I will be I will be choosing my rectangle tool and changing my fill to be green. And I'm going to go ahead and make one small rectangle over here. And I'll be clicking on Alt to make a copy onto this side. like that and i'm going to make another copy right here and i'm just going to adjust this one to be a little bit more bigger like this 
and I'll use the direct selection tool to round this anchor point off like that and then change the dimension bring it down a little like that so I've got the right size I'm going to make another copy right here so I'll click on alt and make a copy here and make another smaller square right on top like that I'm just going to get this one at the bottom so that it intersects like that so now that we've got our basic template but I'm but as you see all these lines right here in between these are the lines where my template has to be folded in order to make the carton right but these lines these folding lines are a little difficult to see right that's because the stroke size by default it'll be 1 or 1.357 or it'll be really less right so I'm just going to go ahead select everything and I'm going to change the stroke weight to three points so that it's a lot easier for all of us to see where the folds have to be made so I'm going to go ahead and also lock my template layer temporarily because now I'm going to add the text and the graphic onto my template and while I'm doing that I do not actually do not want to move anything from the background and or I do not want to just delete every anything right so it's just as a safe thing safe keeping that I'm just gonna lock my layer so I'm gonna create a new layer now and I'm gonna re, uh, rename layer 2 to be let's say graphics okay so I'm going to add this orange image first so I'm gonna open my image and it's right here so I have already saved majority saved all these images from Google Google and you can all you can find these kinds of images easily on Google like the PNG images and once you save once you found the appropriate images and also saved them, you can use these images as well. So when you open this image, I'm going to just drag my image onto my template right here. And I'm just going to bring it down over here. I'm going to make a copy by clicking on Alt onto this one as well. So this one this if this document is going to be the front side of my template and this is going to be the back side of my template right so what i'm going to do is that i'll be making two more copies right here on the top as well but the size is going to be much smaller so i click on alt right here and i'm just going to click on shift plus alt to make it smaller like that I'm going to go ahead click on alt again and make another copy right here now I'm going to select all of them and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see for the next effect that I'm going to do if you look carefully you can still see that the edges are the, that the edges of these images is a little sharp but I want these edges to be a little soft a little bit more soft and uh, it looks uh, much better as if it's been printed onto my packaging right so I selected all my images I'll go to the effect panel go to stylize and I'll click on feather so I'm going to give the radius of one millimeter and if I click on ok so the effect is really small but if you look carefully I'm just going to zoom in on one of my images right here look carefully that the edge right here gets a little bit blurred out or should I say smoothened out so it looks a lot better so you can adjust the radius as per the image so it may vary from image to image right 
so another effect i'm going to add is that i'm going to give these two images a drop shadow which will make it look like a much more 3d effect right so i'll select these two go back to my effect panel go to stylize and i'll click on drop shadow and i'll let the opacity remain 75 percent but let's just change it to 55 percent for now and i'm going to let the other settings be the way it is and i'm going to go ahead and click on okay so as you can see that this drop shadow has been added and it looks gives it a much much more better look to my template as well so i've got this now let's add the other important icons and information as well so i'm going to open up a new image i'm going to add the barcode so i'm going to just drag my image onto my template right here and i'm just going to scale this down a little bit like that and i'm going to close this now i'll keep opening up some a few more images like this so this is a green dot icon which you can also find up on google pretty easily so i highly recommend that you save the png format so that png usually does not have any backgrounds at the back and it's usually transparent so it makes a lot easier for us to add to our document that we are creating otherwise then you will have to remove the background in photoshop or probably add an extra step such as adding a blending mode to it as well to the image actually that Okay. Now add this one as well. So unfortunately, this image right here it's a JPEG format, but that's okay. I'll show you how you can use the blending mode as well. I'm just gonna keep this one right here. I'm gonna shift this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select these two images. I'm going to temporarily unlock my template layer. Come over here to this transparency panel and in this blending mode, I will be changing my blending mode to be multiply. And as you can see that the back that the white image, the white background gets blended with the background as well and it looks like as if that these images have been printed onto my document like that okay and i'm just going to open up another image which is the nutritional values or nutritional values of orange juice and i'm just going to crop this a little because i do not require this upper text which says 100% juice i just need this this entire image So I'm just going to drag this image onto my document right here like this and I'm just going to scale this a little bit because I want my image oops okay so because I want my image to take up majority of the space as this is a very important image for me to add like that so i'm going to do the same thing that i did with these two images as well so i'll select this image i'll unlock my layer so don't forget to unlock your template layer because if you try and apply the same blending mode without having to unlock that layer the same effect is not going to be applied at all right so i am going to change this to multiply again like that okay so i've got this now i just have to, now that i've added the majority of my graphics right here the only thing that i have to add is 
the name of my juice box and some other important graphics here as well right so i'm just going to play around with this a little bit and i'm going to get this right here this right here okay i'm going to add one rectangle right here at the back like this i'm going to change its transparency to 50% and i'm going to add a text right here which says serves up to 20 glasses and i'm going to select this text and change its font size to 60 points and i'm going to make it italic or probably semi bold italic because it looks a lot better like that and i'll see how it looks like with white yeah so it looks a lot better if the fill is white like this i'm going to let it stay the way it is right now i'm going to add some more text right here but first i'm just going to make it regular So I'm going to add the MRP. Wait, MRP. Let's say rupees eighty four and expiry date as well. Just type in any expiry date, any date. Let's say thirty first July twenty twenty. Batch number one hundred twelve. I'm just going to make these texts bold. And also I'm just going to change its font size to 36. I'm just going to place it right here. This looks this is one thing that's done. Now for the net weight which is usually it's around 200 ml and I'm just going to drag this right on the side. Going to make a copy by clicking on alt. I'm just going to keep it right there. One last text one of the last texts would be 100% pure organic orange juice and i'm just going to keep it right there click on all to make a copy and right over here Okay. Now I'm going to show you how you can make this type of effect. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to stick to the same name which is tangerine. So I'm going to select my text again. I'm going to type in out my I'm going to type out my word which is tangerine. I'm going to change its fill to white and I'm going to increase its size to 72 and i'm just going to bring it right here so i'm going to zoom in on this a little so now that my text is selected i'll right click on this and i'll click on create outlines now i'll go over here to this pathfinder panel and in the shape modes i'm going to select unite and over here which uh, you see these three lines right here on this pathfinder panel i'll select on this and click on create or make compound shape and click on expand so once that's done i'm going to make an offset path out of this so i'll make sure that my text is still selected i'll go to object path offset path 
and I'm going to give the offset to be one millimeter and click on OK. So as you can see that my offset path becomes gets added at the back and my text gets a little thicker. So I'm just going to reverse the swap and fill from here and I'm going to change the stroke uh, stroke color to orange and I'm going to change the ink I'm going to increase the weight to three points like that. So there you go. If you look carefully, this is my text right here and I've successfully added the stroke outside my text like that. I'm going to select my text. I'm going to go ahead and click on Shift plus Alt again and make this a little bit more bigger and place it right here. I'm going to make a copy by clicking on Alt and bringing it right over here. So now the only thing that's left for me to add is these four circles right here. So if you look carefully, it states how much protein, fat, fiber and calories it has per glass. So I'm going to add the same thing. Uh, I'm going to add the same thing on this side as well. So I'm going to select my ellipse tool and let it be the way it is like um, I'm just gonna so I let the stroke be the way it is and it do not really require the fill so I'm just going to go ahead click on shift plus alt to make one circle like that probably make this a little bit more bigger like this and no I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller since I do not have much space and I'll click on Alt to make a copy like that on the side and I'm just going to play around with the logos right here. Okay, now I'm going to add the text inside these circles as well. So the first one being 1.7 grams of protein which is here right so it was 1.7 gram of you know keep everything in caps and in bold I'm gonna make this centrally aligned and change its font size to Let's see, uh, I'm going to stick to 14 and bring it right here in the middle like that. Similarly, I'm just going to copy the text by clicking on Alt. Oops, not carefully just select the text. Click on Alt to make a copy. Nope, wait, I have to zoom in. Click on Alt. Yep. Let's see, the other is 0.5 grams of fat. So I'll make the changes accordingly. Fat. I'll click on Alt again. So the next one. Oops, click on Alt. So the next one was similar 0 0.5 grams of fiber. Okay, and the last one was 112 grams of calories. So the last one, I'll just copy this by clicking on Alt. done so there you go we have now successfully made our orange juice packaging template so the I'm what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna save my document now so I'll go to file and click on save as 
So by default, my file name is going to be the same as my document name, which is orange juice packaging template. And my save as type right here is going to be Adobe Illustrator. Short is .ai. I highly recommend that we save a file in this format so that in case if I want to make any further changes, I can easily do that by accessing my AI file. And I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And click on OK. So there you go, we have now successfully made and saved our orange juice packaging template. You can use the same template and make similar packaging for different kinds of juices as well. So it could be mixed fruit, pomegranate, 